Welcome back to Cottage Designs by Erin, where today we are going to be talking about handmade Christmas ornaments as our first Christmas in July project. So here I have a really cute pattern called Sugar Cookie Ornaments, and this is by Bonnie Sullivan. You can buy this on eBay, but you may not need to if you watch this video for further direction. So um, I thought this was really cute. Bonnie Sullivan is known for her wool applique patterns. And uh, you, can, you cannot find this on Amazon. I looked already, all right? But you might be able to also find ornaments, Christmas ornaments by Buttermilk Basin. They also make a book. So I'm gonna move the camera to my hands now and show you what we have. The first thing you will need is some wool felt pieces. And I have this here. I, I purchased these on Amazon. There is a link in my online store for all these beautiful rich colors. And they run about a dollar a sheet. So 21 sheets of wool felt is $21. I traced the pattern in her design pack here. I just used tissue paper. You have to trace them because they're all, or take them to a photocopier because they're all on top of each other so you can't cut them directly out of here. Okay, so I cut out the Christmas tree because I was really limited on colors as to what I have left here. Now, to get this layered look, she is putting one piece on top of another piece and then cutting a quarter of an inch or so around. I'm just gonna eyeball it. So let's do that. And that's just to give it some color and some texture. You can find these products, the felt, in my very first post with the blue truck on it. It has 31 items in my online store under the blue truck. Okay, so here we have our little double layered tree. Next, you're going to need some embroidery floss. And I have been collecting embroidery floss for many, many, many numerous years. And I just put all my embroidery floss in this great big huge hat box. And anytime I go to a thrift store and I see it, I just pick it up and throw it in here. So I did not pay full price for all that or it would have cost a fortune. Okay, so you're going to thread your needle with three strands. And you're going to come up through the back of the ornament. Tie a knot in it. And then you're going to buttonhole stitch around the outside edge. Let me cut that tail off so it doesn't come on the front. So when you buttonhole stitch, you take a stab that holds your piece in place. Then you come up along the outside of that stitch take a stab and then you're going to come up inside the loop gently pull and that will get you started okay so now let me stab keep your thumb inside the loop come up inside the loop and pull and you're going to go all the way around this little shape now I guess you could sew them on sewing machine too if you wanted to but I like the handmade look come up and pull take a stab come up along the edge inside the loop pull 
and go on. And that is our buttonhole stitch. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to trim these out. If you notice on these, we've got feather stitch, French knot, beads are sewn, metallic trims used. Um, you could glue ribbon down, whatever you want. All right, let's say you can't find this pattern because it is more difficult than you would expect. You can go, this is last year's buy, to Dollar General and buy these little metal cookie cutters. They were $2 for four of them, and you could trace these out. Now, my friend Vicki and I, we love to go to antique stores. I found an entire bag of vintage metal cookie cutters for a dollar. So let's see what kind we have in here, because I haven't opened it yet. I just bought them two days ago. There's a gingerbread man. How cute. A snowman. Christmas tree. A star. Oh, cute. Holly leaf. Candy cane. A reindeer. And an angel. This is precious. Okay, so you would then cut these out of felt. You could cut like the holly leaf. You could cut it out of green. You could then go on and sew little red berries on it. The Christmas tree you could decorate with ribbon, sequins, French knots, whatever. The angel, you could cut her wings out of white, cut the angel out of blue, and doll it up. Okay, so these are called sugar cookie ornaments. They make for a great gift, but you want to give somebody quite a few because unless you just use it as a, uh, you could use it as a tag on a package, but you don't want to give somebody just one because that doesn't feel very generous. So anyway, that is my tip of the day. Use some old cookie cutters and some wool felt and make yourself some ornaments. I like these in particular on little tabletop trees like in the kitchen, I always have a little theme going in my kitchen, and the theme is cookie and cookies and candy, and in particular, gingerbread men. So this is our very first project for Christmas in July. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.